get it. He is flying. Crushing here, these two women. Lucy Charles Barkley, the focus in her eyes is unparalleled. He's found the power. So I've got goosebumps. This is the bit that gets me. He's so happy. Look at him. He's in disbelief. To the Iron Man banner, the red carpet. They created history today. It's going to be an American record for the fastest Iron Man. But now this man has emerged. Executed the perfect victory. Hello everyone and welcome to the main over Ironman Frankfurt right here at the Langen of Olsey overlooking downtown Frankfurt on a picture perfect day. Well today's race is unique for a variety of reasons but there is a distinction that we would like to make for you viewers out there today. The Ironman Frankfurt is the men's European Championship as the men's pro field will be competing for the title of European Champion whereas the women's pro field just a couple of weeks ago on June 5th that was decided down in Ironman Hamburg, where Laura Philip from Germany earned the title of Women's European Champion. Hello, everyone. I am Greg Welch with McKeeley Jones, the Ironman World Champion from 2006, the Olympic silver medalist. There's not much in this sport that you haven't done. How are you? <laughs> Great, Greg. And I am definitely looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in Frankfurt today. Such a strong men's field. So don't be surprised. Here's my early prediction already that there's going to be a couple of people that we may not expect to be up there. Well, that's always a good thing for the future of Ironman, that's for sure. Well, let's take a look at the weather today here in Frankfurt. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. We're calling for maybe light rain in the afternoon, but here we go. We're at 65 Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius in the morning right now. Light rain is predicted a little bit later on today. The humidity is at 84%, so it's way up there. It's going to be 20 kilometres an hour of wind uh, coming out of the east there. So they're going to have a little bit of wind out there, Makili. It shouldn't be too much of a factor today. But the high temperature getting up to about 28 degrees. So this afternoon in the run, it's going to be very testy. Definitely the heat and also the humidity. I think everyone's already talked about that on this course. They know it can get very hot. Um, last weekend, it was scorching hot. Looks like it's going to be a little bit nicer. But definitely if you don't take into account your nutrition early, especially on the bike, you're going to really suffer on this course today. Well, as we take a look over the top of Frankfurt downtown right here, let's take a look at our course map. So let's go over to the swim right now and start out with the opening discipline in the Langen of Old Sea right down there. We've got somewhat of a two-lap swim course out there today. We've got the first lap. It's about 1,600 metres. As you can see, they start out from the beach. Then they exit down at the beach there. We call it the Aussie exit because they do go around that red buoy. They get out of the water. They head out of the Langen of Old Sea in the other direction and do about 2,400 to finish it off. So the Aussie exit, two laps, out onto the bike. And the bike course, of course, it's 112 miles. It's a two-lap course. You know, it's very challenging because it has 1,600 metres of altitude, which is around 5,000 feet of climbing. Um, it's a rolling course. As I said, it's two loops. There's actually four Gatorade aid stations out there. So I'm sure the athletes are going to be looking forward to that. And a lot of athletes have talked about that the athlete that's going to do well on this is the huge power output. Okay, the Roka swim course down, the full gas bike course down. Let's go over to the Hoka run course right now because four loops on this incredible course along the river mains. So there we go up and over the bridge there. We go out to the turnaround, five to ten kilometres, ten and a half kilometres. They turn around for lap two, three and four before they come on into the Rummerplatz there and that will be the finish line for the main over. Ironman Frankfurt European Championship for our men today and the European Championship for our women, as we stated in our opener there. They competed a couple of weeks ago, June 5th, back there in Hamburg. But look at this beautiful swim course, McKeeley. Nervous athletes down there at the moment, over 3,000 athletes ready. They are prepared and ready to go. Water temperature today, 24.3, so wetsuits will be worn. So let's go look at the Ironman World Championship qualifying athletes. We'll go through these pretty quick because there's a lot of them. So Josh Amberger from Australia, there's Igor Amarelli, Florian Angert, he had that incredible race down there in St. George this year. Sam Appleton up at Ironman Cairns. Daniel Backergaard, Christian Blumenfeld, the Ironman world champion. There is Kyle Buckingham from South Africa. Matt Burton, Leon Chavalier and Dennis Chravaux from France. They, well, he'll be lining up today. 
And then we also have Maris Glegel from Germany. From Brazil, we have Ronaldo Galocci. Yeah. Uh, Braden Curry, who's been racing absolutely top form lately. Magnus Ditley. Of course, Jan Fredino. We're all waiting to see what he's up to. He's going to race, I think, in uh, a couple of weeks. Henry Goshkid. Anad Gulugu. Uh, sorry, Anad how yeah. do I pronounce his There's name, There's Anna Guillaume from uh, France. And, uh, yeah, like you were saying with Jan Fredino, cannot wait the return. Yeah. He'll be racing next weekend in then, uh, Royal. So there you go. With Matty Hansen, yeah. Ben Hoffman, and Gustav Eden, who wasn't able to compete in St. George, is going to be the talking point of Kona as well. No, definitely. He's going to be watch to watch. And then we have Robert Kahn, Sebastian Kinley, you know, sentimental, I think, with him being close to one of his last seasons. Patrick Langer, you know, he's had a decent season from um, the US, Chris Lieberman, Sam Long. I'm interested to see how he goes. You know, he did very well in St. George. He was definitely up there on the bike. Uh, Andre Lopes. Yeah, had a great race at um, Des Moines just recently. Yes. And just just go back to Chris Lieberman, fourth place at the Ironman World Championship in St. George as well. Andres Lopez, you know, in, in Des Moines was fantastic, just right ahead of Tim O'Donnell there. Matthias Lingos uh, Peterson, David McNamee from Great Britain, Max Newman from Australia doing very well in Ironman Cairns. There's Tim O'Donnell. Yeah. He's been second place before. Lionel Sanders, gosh, does the, does Don't the count starting him line out. up Don't count him better? out. You know, <laughs> he's he, racing he's uh, a tough one. Montreal. Today. Yeah, yeah, he sure is. And then we have Paul Schuster, Joe Skipper. I actually love watching him race. He's definitely like a scrappy guy. Uh, Kyle Smith, Jesper Stevenson, Lusanio Tacconi, Matt Trauman, uh, Jan Van Berkel and Tim Van Berkel. They're no not related. <laughs> <laughs> now, one's from Switzerland. Uh, one lives up at Byron Bay in New South Wales. Then we have uh, Kenan van der Driesche, uh from Belgium. And rounding it out, there's uh, from the Republic of South Africa, that's Bradley Weiss. So that's uh, an incredible set. You know, we'll go over to our IMAB World Championship qualified athletes on our professional women's side. Jen Annette, Ruth Astle, Nikki Bartlett, who's racing today, Kate Bevelacqua, Daniel, Daniela Blamel, who's racing as well today. Lauren Brandon, our fantastic swimmer. Lucy Charles Barclay. Now, Makili, got anything to add to that? Lucy, you know, I can't wait to see her get back. You know, she's struggled with injury so far. And, you know, she really changed the shape of women's racing, being such a great athlete in the water. But definitely, you know, has improved her run so much. So if she can get back to some injury... It's sort of like a little bit of a question mark. Yeah, it is a question mark for sure. I mean, she was incredible at the 70.3 World Championships in St. George where she just led from the start and uh, nobody could make any time on, on any of the disciplines. But uh, anyway, Susie Cheatham, Rebecca Clark and Lindsay Corbin, Sarah Crowley, Elisabetta you know, uh, Curidori from Italy. There's Petra Egenschweiler from Switzerland, Kelly Filnau and Garuz Frades Laralda, Manon Genet, who raced a couple of weeks ago in Hamburg, Heine Hartekainen and Annie Haug, our world champion. Yeah, Elena. another one to watch. Yeah, she sure is. So elaborate just a little bit more on Annie because she's going to have a great competition this year with Daniela Reeve. We've got, you know, Lucy, if she, if Lucy can get back to the start line. We've also got Laura Phillip. And yes. what about Kat Matthews? I know, it's going to be a fantastic... I think it's going to be one of the fiercest and closest Kona women's fields that we've ever had. Wholeheartedly agree with that. And Radka Kalafel doing a first Ironman just recently at Ironman Kansas qualified. Renee Kiley is up there as well. Fenella Langridge, Kristen Leopold, 